Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, mission achieved, Virgin Orbit's launch demo 2 deploys NASA payloads, also HeliExpo 2021 experiencing wave of cancellations, and EAA offers free admission to anyone under 18 to AirVenture 2021. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode with the latest news that's happening in the aviation community. So let's go ahead and start with Mission Achieved. Virgin Orbit's Launch Demo 2 deploys NASA payloads. Virgin Orbit confirmed that its Launcher 1 rocket reached space during the company's second launch demonstration on Sunday, successfully deploying 10 payloads for NASA's Launch Services Program. Virgin Orbit's launch system uses a technique called air launch, in which a rocket is launched from under the wing of a jet aircraft, rather than from a traditional launch pad on the ground. In addition to improving the payload capacity of the rocket, this technique allows the Launcher 1 system to be the world's most flexible and responsive launch service, flying on short notice and from a wide variety of locations to access any orbit. On this mission, Virgin Orbit's carrier aircraft, a customized 747-400 dubbed Cosmic Girl, took off from Mojave Air and Spaceport at approximately 10.50 in the morning and flew out to the launcher site over the Pacific Ocean about 50 miles south of the Channel Islands. After a smooth release from the aircraft, the two-stage rocket ignited and powered itself to orbit. At the conclusion of the flight, the Launcher 1 rocket deployed 10 CubeSats into the team's target orbit. This flight also marks a historical first. No other orbital class, air-launched, liquid-fueled rocket had successfully reached space before now. Here's some good news. Reno Air Race is on schedule to return in September. I'll have more details on that after the break. Aviation's number one safety equipment manufacturer. New ELTs and safety products that activate life-saving rescues across the world. ELTs and safety products for every type of aircraft. General aviation, business jet, rotorcraft, commercial aircraft. Easy installation, affordable pricing, safety and reliability. Visit www.artex.com to view our selection of ELTs and safety products today. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in this segment we call Around the Patch. 2021 Reno Air Race is on schedule to return September 15th until the 19th. We may have a glimmer of good news concerning the much-anticipated next edition of the Reno Air Races. Canceled in 2020 over worldwide concerns with a growing COVID-19 pandemic, they reached out to the aviation community for donations to provide temporary funding so that the organization could survive to more promising times. According to the organization, thanks to the support and generosity of the air racing community, we raised over $460,000 of our $500,000 goal. This may be enough to keep the races alive. With travel restrictions and people not comfortable traveling during a pandemic, there's no surprise air travel is down. The International Civil Aviation Organization said that as seating capacity fell by around 60% last year, that left just 1.8 billion passengers taking flights through 2020, compared with 4.5 billion flights in 2019. That adds up to a staggering financial loss to the industry of around $370 billion, according to the International Civil Aviation Organization. With airports and air navigation services providers losing further $115 billion and $13 billion respectively. SLS hot fire tests terminated minutes early. Teams from NASA's Space Launch System 
program conducted a hot fire of the Artemis I core stage on January 16th at NASA's Stennis Space Center. It should have taken upwards of eight minutes, but didn't. All four RS-25 engines ignited successfully, but the test was stopped early after about a minute. Onboard software acted appropriately and initiated a safe shutdown of the engines. In the coming days, engineers will continue to analyze data and will inspect the core stage and its four RS-25 engines to determine the next steps. Honda Aircraft Company opens new wing production facility. Honda Aircraft has begun operations at its newly opened wing production and service parts facility located at the company's world headquarters at the Piedmont Triad International Airport in Greensboro, North Carolina. The new 83,000 square foot facility is the latest addition to the 133 acre Honda Aircraft Company campus and represents an additional investment of $24.3 million, bringing the total investment in its North Carolina facilities to more than $245 million. Honda Aircraft Company completed construction in September of 2020. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Heli Expo 2021 experiencing wave of cancellations. Heli Expo 2021 may be emptier than usual, the pandemic affecting everything. HEI is determined to pull this off and restore some normalcy, despite a number of vendors pulling out on the last allowable cancellation day. Some big names include Sikorsky, Airbus, Bell, Robinson, but the show must go on. Robinson boss Kurt Robinson told ANN that, after careful consideration, Robinson Helicopter Company made the decision, in light of the current COVID-19 situation, to forgo this year's HEI Heli Expo in March. Heli Expo is a yearly highlight, and we are sorry to miss it. However, we will look forward to seeing our dealers, customers, and friends in Dallas of 2022. Still, HEI says they are committed to holding the Expo in New Orleans in March of this year from March 22nd until March 25th. Some of the measures HEI will use to protect vendors' health and safety include mandatory face coverings, physical distancing, temperature screenings, and frequent thorough cleaning of all public spaces. In an effort to get the younger generation interested in aviation, AirVenture 2021 is free for some. Those details after the break. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. It's good to be young, especially if you're heading to Oshkosh. Young people ages 18 and under will be admitted free to EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2021 as a way to introduce more youth to the possibilities in the world of flight. The 68th Experimental Aircraft Association Flying Convention will be July 26 until August 1st at Whitman Regional Airport. This effort is designed to encourage more aviation-minded families and their children to attend the event that brings in more than 10,000 aircraft from around the world to Oshkosh each year. EAA's mission is growing participation in aviation and in 2019, after EAA reduced admission costs for students, we saw an increase of number of families coming to AirVenture, said Jack J. Pelton. 
EAA CEO, Chairman of the Board. The free youth admission is available throughout Air Venture Week. Long-standing youth activities and programs at Air Venture include such popular offerings as the hands-on Kid Venture display and program area, technology innovation and educational options throughout the grounds, and events such as daily air shows and more than 1,500 forums, workshops, and seminars. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story suggestions or just to say hi. We'll see you next time.